Hello guys, in this video, I will explain what is Azure Cloud Shell and I will show you how to create a resource group and how to deploy a virtual mission using Azure Cloud Shell. To use Azure Cloud Shell, you need to log into Azure portal. There you can see a button and you can just uh, launch Azure Cloud Shell using that button. Uh, I will show you when we log into Azure portal. So let's talk about Azure Cloud Shell definition. Azure Cloud Shell is an interactive authenticated browser accessible shell for managing Azure resources. It provides the flexibility of choosing the shell experience that best suits the way you work either Bash or PowerShell. So here, when we talk about uh, Bash or PowerShell, so when you launch uh, Azure Cloud Shell, you can pick Bash or PowerShell, where PowerShell, you can use Windows command, in Bash, you can use Linux command. Okay, let's log into Azure portal, and then let's launch uh, Azure Cloud Shell from Azure portal. I'm logging into Azure portal now. So let's go home. And then here, if you see the options on the right side, here you can see, just keep the cursor here, you see Cloud Shell. So let's click on this. And here the subscription. So here we need to click create storage. It takes few seconds to initialize that cloud shell session. Let's give few seconds. Now it is initializing account for Cloud Shell. So while it is initializing, I will just show you a couple of options. So here you can pick a PowerShell or Bash. And then here, if you see restart, you can restart it. If you restart it, you will see the first session. And then here you see help and then settings. And then here you can upload or download files. And then if you want to open a new session, just hit a new session. So here we are in the new session. Okay, let's just keep this. So I just click that new session. Let's just give a couple of minutes. It's still authenticating. Okay. So now we are good, okay? So, so here I'll show you how to create a resource group. Just enter this command, new. That means we are creating Azure RM. And what we want to do, we want to create a resource group. So, this is the command to create a resource group. Now it is asking the name. So I want to keep the resource group name. This is the resource group, RG19 API iPhone RG1. Now we need to enter the location. So where we want to create this resource group. Now we need to pick the location. So since Azure has a lot of locations, I will say East US here. I want to, I want to create my resource group in East US location. Now it is created. See this uh, resource group name, RG, 19 API iPhone RG1 location, East US. And then here you can 
see the status succeeded now let's come here let's go to resource group let's close this if you refresh it it just takes a few seconds so so while it is creating the resource group right let's just refresh it so here the resource group created let's open this resource group and then here you can see it this is the name we gave it then this resource group existing east us location now let's deploy how to create a virtual mission using azure cloud cell new iphone azure rm vm so now it is asking name so we need to enter the name for the virtual mission i want to keep the name vm windows let me give the name windows virtual mission one now it is asking credentials remember guys when we create whenever we create a virtual mission we need to use either a key or password authentication type so here we are using the password authentication type so that's why we have to enter username let me give the username as your user give the password okay so here it says the domain name label windows vm is invalid okay so no worries i will we can we can deploy it again let's use the same command new azure rm vm and then give a name vm1 and then give a username So now you see it, it's creating. Now here you can see the progress 12 percent completed creating virtual mission VM1. When this virtual mission available, we can go back here and then you, we can check it here. Go to resource group and just refresh it so here we can see that virtual machine is available but it's still creating still in progress now it is creating so here if you can see it right the resource group name vm1 and then here the location where it is created east us so you can see all these details so let's go to portal and then check this virtual mission overview. Just refresh it. Now, so here we can see all, all details about this virtual mission and then location where it is created is US and operating systems, Windows, and this is the public IP address. So if you want to connect to this virtual mission, so you can, you can just click this connect and RDB connection. Now we need to download this RDB file. So just click this one. Connect. Okay. Hit connect. So this is how you can uh, connect to 
virtual machine so i have some sharing problems so that's fine so let's go back to azure portal so here you can see it. if you want to connect using ssh you can use these options so here i want to sh so this is how we create resource group this is how we deploy virtual machine using azure cloud shell okay if you want to if you want to sign up from this cloud shell you can just close it and leave the shell so this is how we create resources using azure cloud shell if you have any questions you can email me and you can follow my channel on youtube i will post all my azure videos in that channel okay thank you thank you